Welcome to the video tutorial for the Visual Interior Tool. The Visual Interior Tool calculates average illuminance for rectangular rooms using the principles of the Lumen method. This allows us to quickly get an idea of the illuminance achieved in most architectural spaces. Let's begin by selecting a luminaire. To launch the product selection dialog, we click the new tab icon. With the product selection open, we can navigate the Acuity Brands catalog, or if we know a fixture catalog code ahead of time, we can use that in the search bar in the upper right. When we select a luminaire, it will be added to the tool and it will automatically be calculated. Up to five luminaires can be added in a single calculation session. If you're no longer interested in using a luminaire, you can remove it by hitting the delete icon. In the Luminaire tab, we can view and edit information related to our luminaire types, such as light loss factor and symbol size. Most ABL products will have a link to the product spec sheet found below the product image. Clicking on the photometric chart will launch the photometric tool with our current luminaire's information. To the left of the main image are fields to change aspects about the room and the criteria which we wish to achieve. We can change the room dimensions, and set the work plane height. The reported average illuminance is the average illuminance at the work plane height. If we have information about the room's finishes, we could use that information to adjust the reflectance values. The default values of 80, 50, 20 are an industry standard for finished commercial spaces. Manufacturing or unfinished spaces might have a significantly lower ceiling reflectance. In the criteria section, we can enter one design criteria, either illuminance, power density, or quantity. The interior tool will then return a layout for this design criteria. Because the layouts are returned as rectangular arrays, the resulting layout might have a slightly higher or lower illuminance or quantity than you specified. Using the constraints section below the criteria, we can specify specific row and column quantities, allowing more control over the layout. You can also constrain row and column spacing to meet your needs. To the right of the main image, calculation results and spacing results are presented. Calculation results include the illuminance, lighting power density, and the quantity of luminaires. Under spacing results, you will find the on-center spacing, the arrangement, or the size of the array, as well as the outside spacing for the x and y dimensions. This is the spacing between the edge of the room and the edge of the closest luminaire. If there is more than one luminaire type, an additional results section will be added. This comparison table shows the illuminance, power density, and quantity for each luminaire type. In the display section, we can change our view from a reflected ceiling plan to an isometric view, or we can view an elevation of the room from either the X or Y direction. Collapse below is the zonal cavity information. These numbers are all calculated in order to perform the Lumen Method calculation, and they are shown here for the benefit of students learning about how the Lumen Method works. Before we print or save our calculation, let's expand the Project Information section and enter our project name and our contact information. Under the File menu, we can select Print. On the Print page, we can see the project information that we just entered, as well as a printer-friendly layout of our calculation. We can print the PDF by selecting a PDF printer. If you don't have a PDF printer installed, try Qt PDF, which is freely available on the web. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have comments or questions, send them to support at visual-3d.com.